Hey my friends and welcome back. This is me, Melissa, and this is my sign name. I'm Makota and I'm just here to help support you kind of pick up some signs, not just be able to sign, but also to receptively understand it too. And so you can get out there in the world and sign with your deaf family member or friends or maybe a coworker or a neighbor, whoever, whatever, or just to learn to prepare yourself for the future. So suppose you should meet a deaf person. Now my goal is really just to help you connect and help with the communication barriers. So more people know sign, the more of my deaf family and community has access. So thank you so much. Truly, it means a lot. Now, if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. Now, don't forget to check out and look out the basic or advanced levels, and, and I'll be having stories soon to help you with your receptive uh, practices, what everybody's been requesting. Now, what's different about this video, it says voice interpreted. My ch challenge for you is when you're finished watching this, go back and challenge yourself to hit the mute button. Now click that, watch it over, so you can you know, improve your receptive skills. It's, I mean, it's one thing to know how to sign, but hello, would you be able to understand them too? So, communication is a two-way street. And I just can't wait to get you signing and understanding um, in the shortest time possible. <laughs> so thank you for your commitment. Now this video is specific to the topic of animals that we see at the zoo, Z-O-O. -O. Well, maybe you'd see them in the wild, outside, or nature. And I'm gonna try to my best anyway. Are you ready? Let's go. Lion. Tiger. Giraffe. Kangaroo. Monkey. Gorilla, bear, wolf, squirrel, beaver, and squirrel. And so beaver, now look, check out those teeth. <laughs> Rhino, deer, Moose, fox, elephant, alligator, zebra. Sometimes you'll see people sign horse with stripes. Eh. Penguin. <laughs> That's such a cute sign. It reminds me of that movie, uh, Happy Feet, Eagle, and sometimes you'll see this hand shape for Eagle. Here's Seal, Hippo, Turkey. Or a variety of birds, maybe? So, birds. I mean, probably you'd have a big old container filled with a variety of butterflies. And well, that's all the signs I can think of at the zoo. Or outside, outdoors, or nature in the wild. So, well, do me a favor and go ahead, click the pause button. Click that, go to the drop down box, pick up the signs. What do you remember? Challenge yourself. What signs do you remember? Go through the list. I mean, you might have forgot a sign or two. It's totally fine. You know, it'll slowly start to retain uh, it in your memory bank up here. Now, click the drop down box, go through the signs. When you do feel ready, come right back to this exact spot. Now, so you and I could move forward using your brand new signs in phrases. So I'll just wait here at this time mark and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Good luck. Go ahead now. I'll just be waiting. <laughs> hey, so welcome back and how did you do? Did you memorize most of all those signs? 
Well, my applause is to you, hand waving. Good job. Now let's continue with your new signs and apply them into signed phrases. So, let's roll. At the zoo, I'm scared of the tiger, lion, and teeth. Well, that roar though, <laughs> I added that. Now, it's really important in ASL, it's a very visual to show visual stories at your best. So, wow. The phrase is, at the zoo, I'm scared of the tiger, lion, and teeth. Rawr. Monkeys, gorillas, I think are funny. Did you see the bear and the penguins over there? Whoa, the giraffe is really tall. Whoa, the giraffe is really tall. I wonder if elephants are scared of wolves and alligators. <clears throat> I wonder if elephants are scared of wolves or alligators. Hmm. Well, and that's it. You've just put a lot of your new signs in those phrases and you know what to do. Click the drop down box and go through the phrases. You've got this, it's easy. Or was it? Well, I hope you see you in the next video. Thanks again. My name is Melissa. Uh, click that bell and I will see you next time. I'm out of here.